Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Um, I've got some cards pulled for us for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So Aquarius, it seems like all I keep hearing is you, you are the seer. S-E-E-R. You, you're the person that people seek out for advice, guidance. Um, you put yourself in that position, Aquarius. Um, you're very knowledgeable. Uh, you've come, you, you, it's almost as if you're coming into your own and you want close individuals around you to see it. You want them to uh, partake in it also. If you can help in any way, you want to help um, you're very enlightened. You're looking back on past experience and seeing how it set you up for this very day, for this very time. Uh, a lot of you, even in, in, in today's, today's world, right, where we're in quarantine, a lot of you are um, okay. Just, you know, emotionally, mentally, especially those who have really come into their own, into awareness, awareness in regards to whatever it is you you were seeking, you you found it, you you have gained enlightenment in that regard, you know, because it's going to be different for all of us, you know, um, some of you are just really comfortable in your skin, comfortable in you, you're in a good place. Okay, so this week, Aquarius, the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords. And the five of cups okay so it looks like you you made a choice to have healthy relationships to be more healthy you could be learning about health learning about just gaining more awareness about maybe even not even just health but uh, more so uh, where you fit in life, in profession, in your family, in romantic relationships, where you're best needed, um, where your best uh, energy, your best efforts are rewarded. Rewarded in the sense of you feel like you're doing rewarding work. So some of you could really be thinking about where it is you, you want to be spiritually uh, in connection with others, making the choice to be, once again, the seer, S-E-E-R, the seer, um, being very inquisitive, wanting to learn, gaining knowledge, giving knowledge, asking the questions, but hesitating here with the five of cups before you make some grand decision to, you fill in the blank. Feel like you're sometimes some of you are feeling like you're missing something. Like you know where your path is, you know what you should be doing, you know what you want to do. You feel like you're missing something. It says this week is about knowledge, gaining understanding, so that you don't feel like you're missing something. So that you're not continuously having a plan B going back to the old, the three of cups. And not seeing that there's the two of cups that you know matches your energy perfectly that this could be a great partnership you and the seer you and another person maybe you in a water sign or air sign I don't know but it's about getting up and doing something about this Aquarius it's not some of you are realizing that a lot of this hurt and pain wasn't for anything or for nothing it was for something it was what is making you you to be at this very place and at this very time some of you may be lonely especially in quarantine so it's making you think about past relationship past love but I think you have something better here either coming or it's already here.
some of you are engaging in fantasy just a bit too much some of you have like something or someone like a twin flame coming in or is already here for you you have like new love let's see what the advice is for you the empress the hierophant wow the queen of swords okay so the advice is to know that you have something new you're creating something new um you you're doing the work laying the ground or you have already done it and you're waiting for it to turn into a full stability and manifestation of You're pregnant with the idea of what you want your life to be like, and you're still manifesting it. It says, do something ritualistically uh, or uh, religiously, where you do it on a, a set schedule. You do it constantly. The higher friend is also bringing people, like-minded individuals, to you. Yeah, like some some like-minded individual. The advice is for you to get around like-minded individuals that can help you understand what is for you and what is not for you. Help you be objective in your thinking. It says ground your energy, ground your, your thinking. This love affair that you're in could really turn into something stable. You are the empress. You can create something from nothing. You can create the reality that you want for yourself. It's about being religious about this path, about bringing it in for yourself or for, yeah, around you. You got to understand that some new relationship will come with the ups and the downs, but that's okay. As long as you stay objective in what you want and clear in, in what it is you want, as long as you communicate clearly with those around you, then you'll have an understanding, some common ground. Someone doesn't understand what you want, you might not even know what they want in totality. You you know some of what they want. You you can pick up on the context clues but no one's had the conversation you haven't had the conversation other people's opinion is valid but it doesn't mean that it's absolute truth for you take on opinion and still make the decision um, for yourself A lot of groundedness coming in for you. A lot of aha moments in regards to uh, someone else. Something can be hidden from you. The advice is that for some of you, you could be the third party in... Um, a marriage in a relationship in someone else's relationship in this love affair ask questions and be objective in what it is you want so no one can ever say well I didn't know that's what you wanted speak be communicate exactly what you want and sometimes in doing that you people will cut themselves out you know if I say I want to be married with children and this guy doesn't ever want to be married, definitely don't want any children. Some people do themselves a favor, just, you know, disappear. Do you the favor and themselves, okay? Um, be clear in your communication. Some of you want children. Some of you want marriage. Something is upsetting or is disappointing. 
but you're hesitating before making some absolute decision about um, maybe a relationship that you're you're in, you're, you're dating someone, or maybe even someone from the past. Someone from the past can be looking in on you, missing you. It says that you're the empress. You're getting a lot of attention. You're, a be you're beautiful, abundant, um, spiritual, natural. Let's see what the advice is for you. Trust. Yeah, trust the process. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that you're, you're on the right path unlikely okay so something is unlikely um i hate this card it's gonna say it what we're gonna do is clarify unlikely over at the website we're gonna do an extended read here there could be someone wanting to come back from the past you don't look at this person too favorably you don't really want them back you could hear them out but you don't want them back The advice is put yourself in the right positions to create the life that you want. If you're not in the right position, maybe even with the right person, not with the right person, you're going to have to redirect, refocus. Be around like-minded people so that you can create the life you want. Uh, back to the example of wanting children, wanting a marriage. If that person has spoken very clearly about the fact that they don't want that, you're going to have to refocus, redirect yourself. You're going to have to be objective in your thinking with the Queen of Swords and cut out all that's not serving you, this, your highest good and the outcome that you want. Objective. What is the object? The object is for you to be married with children. Is this going to get you there? So that's the objective thinking there. Cut out all that just doesn't get, it's not right on your path. Okay. Uh, the queens are the doers of the zodiac so it says that you're going to have to actively do that you're doing that okay so we're going to go over to the website and um, see what this person we're going to see what a new person has to say to you and what an old person has to say to you okay um if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. You can also text a question or eight to the number below. You can pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. If you have a question of, does this person want a life with me? Do they see a life with me? Do they see marriage, children with me? And you know, if that's your question, ask it. Um... This could be a, uh, somebody who's good for you right now. What does this current person want to tell Aquarius? What does the past person want to tell Aquarius? Okay, so let's go over to the website and get the extended read. And let's see what this new person wants to say to you, this past person, okay? Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you. Stay, stay safe, guys. Bye.